this is our new hanger much shinier than the one underneath and the rubber is nice and new well, the one I showed you underneath was pretty much buggered anyway it comes with this cap here which is a dust shield now I assume that the one on my drive shaft will fit and I won't need this so this is either for protection during shipping or it's actually pressed onto the drive shaft not quite sure but I'll figure it out as I go now when you're trying to find one of these hangers for your drive shaft this one came from once again the Hardy Spicer drive shaft catalogue and it's that guy there and the way you can track them back to finding out what the size is, is three measurements, four measurements actually. First one, what you need to know is inside the bearing here, the diameter of that, the inside diameter, which on the Bedford NFM USB 3 and the one that we've got is 45 millimeters. And the width of the bearing is 27 millimeters. And also you need to know the distance from the centre of the bearing to the top up here because that sets the distance the drive shaft sits down underneath the vehicle. And the last one is kind of important, kind of important but if it's the two holes in the top here, from there to there is the distance, 194 as per Hardy Spicer catalog. So anyway... Got a couple of these, 160 bucks each. Can't complain about that. So you've just seen how to measure up and find a new bearing hanger. Well, this is the bearing hanger installed, but on this YouTube channel somewhere there is a video of us actually putting this onto the drive shaft. So have a hunt round and you can find that. Thanks for watching.